What is going on guys? We are at Gold Gym, Venice Beach, the famous green walls behind me, and today I want to help you guys get a ripped face and a more chiseled jawline. You ain't got no gains. You ain't lift no weights. <laughs> I know you guys are watching my videos because overall you want to look more attractive, you want to look more aesthetic. Facial aesthetics are a real thing, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break down a few things that I guarantee you you've never thought of in your entire life. So you can get a fly chick like Kitty Gaines over here, got those facial <laughs> aesthetics on point. So I'm gonna give you guys seven tips, and the first tip is gonna involve the number one exercise that's gonna make your face look more attractive. And I guarantee you've never thought of it like this. So I'm gonna dive right into it guys. So number one, this is gonna really help you like, it's gonna help you look like you have a wider jaw. And like just, if you look at, literally like, look up any good looking like actor, model, what they have is like a wide jawline, a very chiseled jawline here. So by having a bigger neck and doing lots of shrugs, you give the illusion of having a wider uh, bone structure and a wider jaw. Now obviously you can't change your bone structure, but a lot of these tips are just gonna help you guys have a lot more chiseled jawline and then we're gonna get in some facial exercises for the very last step. So make sure you guys don't miss that. So the first action step is you guys gotta incorporate a lot of more shrug work into your routine. So the things that I really like to do are dumbbell farmer's walks and heavy barbell shrugs. So just doing the combination of those two things is gonna help you guys out a ton. So I recommend doing a couple really heavy sets of dumbbell farmer's walks time under tension so you're literally just like walking like this and shrugging your shoulders with really heavy weight and then another thing I really like doing is drop sets doing dumbbell shrugs so literally I'll go through my whole trap and neck routine and by the way when you're working out your traps you're indirectly working out your neck so I think I'm gonna actually work on uh, they have this crazy device that you like wrap around your head and you do like these like neck exercises so that would actually be a really great way to build like the thickness in your neck but if you just look at like most really like mainstream actors and models, they have a wider neck, and the wider your neck is, and the more developed your traps are, it's just the more wide and chiseled your face is gonna look. So, step number one is do not skip trap day. All right guys, so step number two is you have to be relatively lean. So if you wanna have a more chiseled jawline, you want to just have those facial aesthetics, you at least gotta get to 12, I would say ideally, in the 10% body fat range. Now. The best form of cardio that's actually going to contribute to the facial aesthetics is going to be high intensity interval training. Because doing high intensity interval training, so simply running sprint intervals, doing plyometrics, doing some form of cardio that incorporates your fast twitch muscle fibers, this is the best form of cardio, actually the best form of exercise in the world that boosts your human growth hormone. In fact, there has been a couple research studies published by PubMed that said that uh, running sprint intervals and doing Tabata style training increases your HGH up to 200%. So tip number three is you have to incorporate lots of, well first of all, you gotta be drinking lots of water because the more water that you drink, the less water that you retain. And then going on, kind of building on top of that and also building on the fat loss, the two best things in the world to drink for facial aesthetics, especially you do not wanna be retaining water and fat in your face. And the best things to drink to prevent this are gonna be organic apple cider vinegar and green tea. I definitely recommend matcha green tea. So matcha green tea is a great metabolism booster and then organic apple cider vinegar is a great natural detox. So drinking tons of water, not having a lot of sodium in your diet and then drinking things that boost your metabolism that naturally detox you and help you lose water weight like natural diuretics are gonna be perfect for getting those facial aesthetics on point. And once you get to 10, 11% body fat, you're gonna notice an immediate difference if you start drinking more water. Um, you have less sodium in your diet and you incorporate matcha green tea and organic apple cider vinegar. So Kitty Gaines is tired of filming. She's getting a little cardio in, so I'm gonna take over, do handheld for tip number four. So tip number four, if you, if you, t if you get one takeaway from this entire video, it is, it's gotta be tip number four. You gotta stop eating processed high sodium food. So things like beef jerky and deli meat, although like the macros on it are gonna be really good. Like for instance, beef jerky, the macros is pretty much 100% protein, but the sodium and the fillers and all that junk is gonna cause you to retain a ton of water. Same thing with deli meats. 
deli meats and bacon and processed foods, basically anything in like the middle of a grocery store is gonna be filled with sodium. So tip number five, I know I kind of covered this already, but I had to make it a separate tip. One to two gallons a day because the less water you drink, the more you're gonna retain. So incorporating lots of water every day is gonna help you a lot. And then actually adding on to that, if you want to, say you have like a certain event you wanna look really lean for, you want your face to look really chiseled, say you have a photo shoot, a wedding, going on a cruise, going on spring break, whatever it may be. What you wanna do is, there's an ingredient called dandelion root that's a natural diuretic that's gonna help you lose a lot of water weight fast. So we actually throw that in our product, Alpha Shredder. That's one of the reasons why you will notice a pretty big difference is we, we put dandelion root in here on top of the matcha green tea and the green tea extract. So that's why the people who've taken it, they've said, you know, they've noticed on the scale, they're a couple pounds less, like within the first 48 hours. The main reason, you're not losing, you know, a couple pounds of fat in 24 hours. The main reason is that dandelion root is causing you to lose a lot of water weight, so you're not retaining that water. Your jawline and your facial aesthetics are gonna stand out a lot more. That's gonna get a little weird. And I actually got this from Alpha M. I got the first one from Alpha M. I got the second one from a different YouTube channel. I started doing them, and I noticed immediately, like my jaw, you gotta keep in mind, you have muscles through here. So if you can develop these muscles a little bit more, it's gonna help you have a more chiseled jawline. You're gonna have those facial aesthetics on point. So, it's gonna get a little weird. Maybe don't do this in front of a first date or uh, your first Tinder date. Maybe don't do it in front of a girl you just started talking to, but it will give you a better jawline and better facial aesthetic. So the first one is what you gotta do is you literally fill your cheeks. So I'm just gonna show you. You're gonna fill your cheeks like with as much air as humanly possible. It actually hurts a little bit. And then you're gonna rotate and then you're gonna breathe it out from this cheek into this cheek. And then you're gonna go rotate from this cheek to this cheek. So. Actually really hard so 10 seconds like then you're gonna breathe it out or not not breathe it out you're gonna rotate it to this cheek and then rotate it back over here I guarantee you there's not many people on the planet doing that but you have muscles in your face guys so as stupid as it sounds like if you're out at a bar and no one can really see you and you're just in like a t-shirt how chiseled your jawline is gonna immediately draw someone to your face so just having these little tricks up your sleeve is gonna it's like this channel is all about just giving guys little hacks and tips on how to just take everything in your life to the next level. So, the next exercise is, uh, this one makes a little bit more sense. It's more like right on your jawline. So, I forget who I got this from. I think it was like a fitness model or, I want to say Rob Richards showed this one time. And there was some other, uh, I don't know, some other YouTuber. So this one, you literally are going to open your mouth as wide as you can and you're going to feel it on these muscles right here. So. Like I said, guys, it looks weird. So let me show you from the side. From the side. So you want to go for about 10 seconds and hold it. And in home, if you watch this video, just try that one time. Like, open your mouth as wide as you can. You're going to feel it all throughout these muscles right here. And it's actually really difficult. So I'm, I recommend doing a couple different sets of both those exercises, try to do it every single day and you will notice a big difference in as little as 30 days. So we're back in the car, driving to find some food. I'm very tempted to find the 24 hour donut shop called DK's Donuts. We're like 10 minutes away from it. But uh, I wanna get into tip number seven, finish up the video for you guys. So tip number seven, two things are gonna go into this because I failed to mention one of them. First thing is, if you chew gum a lot, and as weird as it sounds, channel a mind-muscle connection while you're chewing gum. Like literally focus on how you can work your jaw muscles as you're chewing gum. That's gonna be such a game changer on top of doing those facial exercises that I talked about. So uh, chew lots of gum, get your chompers on, all that good stuff. So last tip of the day is gonna be a little hair tip. Now, if you have really shaggy hair on your sides, it's not gonna give you that chiseled face look. So. A really easy trick you can do is just like have some volume in your hair, like blow dry your hair a bit and keep your hair shorter on the sides. That's gonna give you a much more chiseled um, and like long, narrow, sleek face. So that is the seven tips 
on how to get a ripped face, better facial aesthetics, better jawline. So I wanted to change up the content, give you guys kind of an outside the box, interesting uh, video on facial aesthetics. So I did a lot of research on this and I kind of combined all of the best tips that I learned and some of the things that I've tried and implemented into, uh, that I've tried and implemented into my own life. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. I'll be hanging out in California for I think uh, another week or two. So we're gonna try to give you guys some awesome content from California. So Kitty Gaines and I are signing off for tonight. See you guys on the next video.